Hi there, and welcome to my video lesson on flexion versus extension. So today I want to talk about the basic differences between flexion and extension. It can be confusing because flexion and extension are very similar to each other, and when you get into the realm of talking about joint angles and geometry and applying that to human limbs, it can get a little bit confusing. So first and foremost, let's just cover some basics. Um, you should know that flexion and extension applies to the joints of the human body only. It does not extend to the muscles, and I have that here. Um, muscles do not flex or extend. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's true because uh, joints flex or extend, muscles contract or lengthen. So, you know, if some if somebody, if you're in the gym and somebody comes up to you and says, you know, hey, hey, you know, look, look at my biceps. My biceps are getting bigger and bigger, and, you know, I'm going to flex for you and show you right now. You know, maybe you're too small to laugh in their face, but on the inside, you can quietly laugh knowing that you have the superior knowledge and you know that um, you're, you can't really flex a muscle. Um, you can shorten it, but uh, I digress. Anyway, I was going off on a little tangent there, but the, the general idea is that you can't flex or extend a muscle. Um, you can flex or extend a joint of the human body, but... Uh, so if anybody tells you that or um, says that's the correct way to say it, it, it is not. Um, so here I just want to go over what that actually applies to and what it applies to a joint. So here I have the knee. Uh, you can see that this is a leg with a thigh, um, kind of a side view here in the foot at the bottom. And this red line represents a flexed knee because the joint angle is smaller, and you can see that this half crescent line is a small line compared to this kind of beige or tan line, which is much larger. And I drew kind of an outline or a silhouette. If you were to sit on the floor and stick one of your legs out straight in front of you to lock the knee or to extend the knee joint, this will, would be what we call an extended knee joint. And you can think of this if you're using a machine in, in the gym. Uh, the leg extension is what it's called. It should be knee joint extension, but... Uh, the differences are the same in the sense that what you're trying to do is extend the joint here, um, and doing that has an impact on the actual angle, which I want to talk about now. Um, give me just a second. I want to kind of zoom out here and adjust and show what's going on here. So this is another drawing. So let's say we're talking about a different joint in the body here, uh, the hip joint, um, and we're engaging in what I have here is almost like a stiff-legged deadlift, uh, not a Romanian deadlift, Ro a Romanian deadlift because of the, the distance from the front of the thigh to the the arm here. It would be much closer with the Romanian. But anyway, so let's say this, this trainee is doing uh, their version of a stiff-legged deadlift. They would start in an extended position, the hip extension, because the angle here would be large, 180 degree. You can think of it as a straight line running up and down the torso with the kind of half circle here. But as they flex their hips, you can see that this joint angle starts to decrease. So I have an arbitrary number, 135 degrees versus 180 degrees. So here you can see that this person is actually flexing their hip. So hip is flexing. And when they're at the bottom of the movement or when they've reached the maximum amount that they can actually stretch their hamstring or flex their hip, they return to this resting position, which is an extended hip. So it's all about the angles. You can think of it as, you know, some geometry or some math, but that is essentially what hip flexion and extension is or uh, the general concept of flexion and extension, even when we apply it back to the, the knee I have here. So all joints in the body uh, undergo flexion and extension. Muscles do not. That's my basic message to you. Uh, when you pose in the mirror and show off your amazing biceps to somebody, a friend, a coworker, a confidant, a mate, um, just tell them that you're going to shorten your bicep to them, but you've been working hard in the gym and your biceps are really big, so they should come check it out. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that you learned something from this and have a great day. Thanks.